you all have been asking for this video, a variety of moisturizing sunscreen options. So I have a whole bag here of moisturizing sunscreens. How many do I have in here? I have, I have seven moisturizing sunscreens. Five are for your face, two are for your body. One I loathed and could not stand, but it could be because I have combination skin and this one was way too moisturizing for my skin. So I'll tell you more about that one when it comes up. All of these sunscreens I have made additional in-depth videos on, except for the sunscreen that just did not work for me. I am not gonna do a separate video on that because it would just be me going over and over. I don't like this, I don't like it. All right, so we'll start with the two body ones. These are ones that I love for two different reasons. This one's mineral, this one is chemical. This is the Super Goop Body Butter SPF 40, 5.7 fluid ounces. It smells like vanilla. It comes out like a whipped dream. I keep this one in my car because I apply it on my hands as I'm driving. It's chemical, so I don't get weird white stuff all over my clothes. I absolutely love this one. Here's the ingredients on the back. My shell, I've got this one on this morning. I have it on my arms. My shell dermaceuticals protect, replenishing solar defense body lotion, SPF 50, water resistant. Coconut oil, shea butter, moisturize and soothe, six fluid ounces. It is reef safe, it has 21% zinc oxide and it comes out gray <laughs> and it is very moisturizing. I got stuff sticking to me. So today's a warmer day and I can tell it's not sitting down. Normally this sits down on my skin much better than it is today, but it still feels sticky. I would only recommend this for colder, temperatures and very dry skin. As the weather warms up, I will not be using this because I think I've got some humidity in the air and it's sticking, it feels sticky. But it does not leave a white cast on your skin and it does not leave weird whiteness on your clothes. So I, I absolutely love this one. Okay, moving on to face sunscreen. I'm gonna share the one I disliked for the very end. Maybe I'll try and go like, least moisturizing to most moisturizing. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I have two moisturizing sunscreens that leave more of a matte finish to a natural matte. This one is the least moisturizing of all. It has aloe in it. It is the My Shell Dermaceuticals Protect Sun Shield SPF 28 Coconut, 2.3 fluid ounces, 11.6% zinc oxide, 0.67% titanium dioxide. And this does not leave a white cast. It comes out white. It is nourishing. It feels great going on the skin but it is not for dry desert skin <laughs> I, actually my husband is using this now and he really enjoys it he puts it all over his head and his face and it leaves like I said it leaves a matte finish I want to try this one again in the summer I should put some on today because it's warmer and see if I like it better but I did not like this in the colder I feel like it accentuated my dry patches this one is also matte but it is my current absolute fave hands down I got this much left in it I need to repurchase I keep this one in my purse because it works great under makeup as well as to reapply on top of my makeup which I love it is the Misha soft finish sun milk SPF 50 plus 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 it is a mineral sunscreen it comes out a pink color it does have a scent um, but it's like a light fresh scent so if you like a matte look but is also moisturizing I love this one another favorite of mine that I've been wearing for months is the skin suticles Sheer Physical UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is weightless, tested, post-procedure. You cannot feel this on your face once you put it down. 1.7 fluid ounces, 6% titanium dioxide, and 5% zinc oxide. This will give you a natural glow. It doesn't make you look greasy, but it's definitely not matte. It feels very moisturizing when you put it on your face. For I love this. I'm wearing this this morning. Works great under makeup love. All right, this one is a Neogen, the Neogen Dermatology Daylight Protection Sunscreen SPF 50. This is a hybrid sunscreen, so it's both chemical and mineral ingredients. This one smells like a citrusy, a fresh citrusy scent, but it's not too strong of a smell. It does not leave a wide cast. It sinks great into your skin. This is great for drier skin. I would not use this one in the summer. Um, I only use this on very cold days and I've been using this for years as my moisturizing sunscreen. I recommend this one if you are looking for a hybrid sunscreen. Now the two that I didn't really enjoy, one I just really really didn't enjoy <laughs> this first one is the my shell dermaceuticals protect replenishing solar defense spf 30 it has red algae extract and kukui oil this is very moisturizing 
I cannot use this on my face. It's too moisturizing. It is a mineral sunscreen. It's 13.5% zinc oxide. It does not leave a white cast. It leaves my face looking very greasy and it feels very greasy and heavy on my face and I don't like that. But if you have dry skin, you might really love this one. It has no scent. Okay, here's the one that I had such high hopes for and I dislike completely. And I wish I could give this to someone. <laughs> Who could use it? This is the new Kinship. Look how cute the packaging is. Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen Zinc Oxide SPF 32 1.75 fluid ounces. It has 22.4% zinc oxide. It's supposed to be good for blemish prone skin, but this was a big grease ball on my face, even when it was 30 degrees outside. It did not. I will watch. Watch this wear test right here. Hi, okay, it's been about four hours um, that I have had on the Kinship sunscreen. And you can see, it is super shiny on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. Um, here, it's just too shiny for me. I'm just a matte sunscreen gal. <laughs> I need to just embrace it. It is very moisturizing. I mean, you can't see any dry patches on my face. So if you're looking for a moisturizing sunscreen, I think this one is definitely it. And I think it might do better on somebody who has drier skin than I do. Just so you know, it does not have a scent and it does not have a white cast because it has that little pale pinky beige tone to it. If you have very dry skin, skin I think you would really like this, but I, but I don't have very dry skin, so. I hope this was helpful to you in some way. Let me know, are there any sunscreens that you would like for me to try out? Thank you for those of you who have, who have been giving me suggestions. I don't think I'm gonna be getting any more moisturizing ones in because our weather is getting warmer. I'm gonna go back to testing out sunscreens that will fit in a warmer, humid climate from here on out. There's a bee over there. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. The bees. The bees are already out. Nope. New bees. <laughs>